Greetings, this is Gimpian, and we are playing on the Kingdom Chronicles server. As always, I want to help you enjoy watching or playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is the first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I've produced videos. The farmer villagers are released from their boats, and now I'm releasing the zombie. With the lever, I released the zombie. It's been raised up one, and the floor has been pulled back. So now this zombie, which I gave a sword to, and put the head of a villager, traveling villager, on top of the, as a helmet for the zombie. So that's why he looks like he does. It took a minute and 13 seconds for the first farmer to become a zombie. It took a minute and 31 seconds for all of them to be converted. It seemed like longer. Now I press the button that's above them up here and it dispenses a splash potion of weakness. The only one I have. And then I take the time to give each one of the zombie villagers a golden apple. And that starts the curing process. Now it's a waiting game. All we can do now is wait for them to turn back into villagers. It took over five minutes for the first zombie to turn back. And two more minutes for all of the rest of them to turn back. It seemed like longer. Longer than seven minutes, anyway. Okay, you've got to see these trades. What this gives me is... I now have pumpkins for one... One pumpkin for one emerald. Or one melon for one emerald. This is why Mumbo Jumbo calls it his emerald machine. So the trades are just fantastic. I can get pumpkins and melons and turn them into emeralds all day long. And I've got all of them up to this point. So curing your villagers works wonders. Greetings, we are back at my spawn house, and I brought you here because I wanted to show you what I've done with it. I have finished the remodel. Let's take a look. Big reveal. And let's look at what we've got see the original structure on the bottom but now I have finally done the part where I built upward I think it's really cool looking it has multiple floors and a light tower at the top and I think it's really cool but then I built it. I really like the way it looks. I use scaffolding to make my ways up, I guess you call them, instead of ladders. And the view is awesome, but let's show you what the view is from the roof. Because it's better up here. Up here, you can see that's the village at Blues. And I forget whose village that is, whose property kingdom that's part of. Over here, this has been Roscoe's project. He has been building a village right outside the walls that pr 
Protect. Spawn Town. Inside the walls we still have our normal stuff. You can see everything, including everyone's spawn house. And then we're back to where we started. I don't know if Blue has seen the house, special houses we built for him over there. But that's the house. That's what it looks like. That's the building. I really like it. I like the way it looks. Now, let me meet you back at the bottom, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, we are back at spawn, and I want to show you what the inside of this building looks like. As you know, we have our cleric over here, right after you come inside the building. My bedroom and stuff is hidden down here, but the new part of the building that I built is up here. Now that you have the stone structure, beds, and the ladder going up, not a ladder, but scaffolding. And this building look, this room looks almost identical, is almost identical to the one below it. I have, and the scaffolding's on the opposite side of the room. I have a bed in each room. Third floor. Same as the ones below it, with the exception of the roof. Here we can see the chambers above us. We go over here and go up. This is the, I don't know what you'd call it, but it's a chamber last chamber that goes up before the top of the building. And if we go up here, this is where the light structure is maintained, sits, whatever you want to call it. And the view is pretty awesome. If you really want to see, then we have to go back up. Like I already showed you, it's up there on the outside of the building. And I already showed you that. Now here, I did do this, so I can get down by just dropping on the bed, which is a nice way to go. And then I'll go down. I'll meet you back down at the bottom. We are back at the bottom, and what I'd like to show you next is a prank that I did on Roscoe. In case you don't recognize it, this is Jack Skellington, which is one of the themes that Roscoe has been building on this year. No sooner did I finish it up, but I decided I built it on the wrong side of the building. Therefore, I tore it down and moved it. And this is what the final look was. I like it. I honestly can't wait to see Roscoe's reaction. <laughs> Greetings. We are back at my kingdom. And you can see behind me the villagers running around, doing their thing, swapping, trading food. My population seems to be going nicely. Obviously, I still have mobs spawning because I've got all the iron golems and new iron golems appearing. They only do that when some mobs have come along and scared the bejeebies out of them. I am standing here in front of my favorite tree. 
that uh, was built for me. And I'm out of time. So I need to say goodbye and let this video end. So here you go. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. Hope you liked the video. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you can't do that, then come back to this video. There is a link in the description for Amazon, and that would help me too. Otherwise, please subscribe and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Goodbye. Goodbye.